Hey, what's up YouTube? Houston here. And for those of you just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell. And for those of you that's been following me and supporting me, salute. And for my favorite patrons, always double salute. Now, today's video, we're going to be talking about how to get up to $40,000 from Marcus Personal Loans. Now, Marcus is Goldman Sachs. However, for some of you all that may not qualify for this loan, there's another lender out there I'm going to share with you as well. But one of the things that you have to understand when trying to get a personal loan, your ducks have to be in a row. OK, and I would say this is probably one of the easier uh, loans for people to possibly get as well as the other lender I'm going to talk about. Now, here's the thing about it. One of the things that I always tell people, if you have a thin file or you have a low credit score and you're trying to boost up your credit score, you should add these type of accounts to your credit file first. OK, before you going after a personal loan or a credit card. The reason is, is the thicker your file is and the more positive trade lines you have on the file, the better it is, okay? So that being said, another thing you definitely want to do, and I know some people are like, well, you shouldn't have rent reporting on your uh, credit file. That's a mistake. Do not listen to people that say that, and I'm going to tell you why. Because if you have your rent showing up on your personal credit file, this will help you qualify for a mortgage much easier, okay? Because you're actually showing them that you've been able to make rent payments for the past two months, excuse me, the past two years consecutively. So I know some people say you don't want to do it because of DTI. In reference to DTI, you do not want to play that game when it comes to you, especially if you're trying to get qualified for a mortgage, okay? Also, adding this on can boost your credit score between 45 to 60 points, okay? So if I had a choice between having this reported and it may uh, push my DTI up a little versus it's giving me 45 to 60 points plus helping me qualify for a mortgage, I'm going to have it reporting. So if you hear people say, oh, you shouldn't have rent report, do not play that game because they're going to screw you in the end. All right. So that being said, you want to have those type of trade lines reporting on your business on, excuse me, on your personal credit file. Now, let's look at some of the data points for the market's personal loan so that you can have a better understanding of how to leverage this to be able to get funding. All right. Now, the good thing about it, they use FICO 9, TransUnion FICO 9. So if you're an individual that has um, that has a strong TransUnion credit file, but your Equifax and your Experian is bad, you can lock your files because they're going to pull directly from TransUnion, which is a very good situation to be in, especially like I said, adding those trade lines to help boost up your credit score. This will definitely give you that leverage. Another good thing about this here with a uh, Marcus is that they do a soft credit check or pre qualify. So instead of getting that hard pull, um, now after you get get a once you accept, they'll do a hard pull. But prior to that, you can do a soft check to see if you qualify for a loan. OK, now another thing that's good about it is because they don't uh, charge any origination fees, prepayment penalties or even late fees. OK, now if you have late fee, uh, if you make a late payment or partial payment, that may be reported to the credit bureaus. But uh, in terms of adding a fee on it because you're late, they won't do that. All right. Now, here's the interesting thing about it, about this loan, is that after you make 12 months of good payments on time, they will allow you to skip a payment. So that's the thing about it. And you don't pay any interest on it. So that's very good, uh, especially like you may come into a situation where you had a cash crunch and you need that money and you may need that money to make a car payment or pay a utility bill or something. 
Well, the thing about it, they're trying to give you some flexibility. Now, their loans go from 36 months up to 72 months, which is very good. Now, one of the things about it, you do have to provide with them proof of income. Okay, so that means your pay stubs, bank statements, or your tax records in order to get qualified. But here's the thing about it. Now, if you're going to get qualified, because an average credit score is a, a 660 or above on the, FI, on the FICO 9, okay? Now, if you get qualified for this personal loan, since they uh, issued an Apple card, I would actually go after the Apple credit card as well, in which I'm going to talk more about a strategy on that in another video. But I just want you all to get to thinking, like, wait a minute, I may can use this one hard pull, okay, since it is a soft pull, all right, so I would probably try to go after two products. I would probably, you may can even go after three products, but on the one uh one pool on your credit file using TransUnion. But at least I, if I'm able to get a personal loan out of them and to get an Apple credit card, then you definitely should be able to leverage that. Now, here's the thing about it. With these type of loans, because it is a bank, uh, most banks, they have this thing called um, your, your DTI. Okay, excuse me. Sorry, I got a brain freeze for a minute. But what it is, is that with most of the major banks, their debt-to-income ratio, it maxes out between 50 to 55%. And because Goldman Sachs is a major bank, their debt-to-income ratio, if you're above that 55%, you may not qualify. Okay, so keep that in mind, but that doesn't mean that you're not able to get a personal loan if your debt to income ratio is over 55%. So that's the reason I'm going to share with you about Avant personal loans and their TransUnion soft pull uh, FICO 9. The uh, base credit score is a, a excuse me, their, their lowest credit score is a 580. Now, here's the thing about it. Like I said, with the debt to income ratio, it's 70%. So they go above that 55%. So that's the reason I wanted to show this to you. Now, you can see here on some of the data points, the average is 30%, but they will let you go up to 70%. Now, their loans go from 2000 up to 35000 but you have to have active checking account, active phone number, active email, just as well as with the Marcus personal loans as well. OK, now, again, their average credit score is a 644, which is less than the Marcus loan. So it's higher. They accept a higher debt to income ratio and you can have a lesser credit score. And it's a still a FICO 9. Now, your minimum income required for this is your annual twenty thousand dollars annually. So you're looking at, I would say, to be safe, about twelve hundred dollars a month. OK, now the average income for most people in the data points is four thousand. But that doesn't mean you have to make four thousand. Now, here's the thing about it. Let me help you understand in terms of when you applying for loans and credit cards with these lenders like Marcus Loan or Avant. One of the things about it, I always tell people, make sure that if you have a spouse in the household, that you include your spouse's income as well. OK, or say that you are dis disabled, but you are renting a room out in the house and you're getting rent from that. You can count that as income or if you're retired and you're receiving Social Security benefits, but you're also receiving money from a 401k or annuity. That's income you can also include on your application. All right. Now, in terms of average income on most applications for a single individual is usually between 39 to maybe 69,000. And then for a household or a married couple, then their average income max, I would say starting at from 69 and up. Okay. So just so you can have some type of data points to actually understand where you should be at when trying to apply for a um, 
excuse me, trying to apply for a Marcus personal loan or a Vont personal loan. Now, if you don't know the difference between your FICO 9 and your FICO 8 score, then click the link and get your uh, FICO scores and then schedule one on one consultation. I'll show you how to leverage those. Okay, so this is Houston with three way funding, and I thank you for the support.